when you feel low, you can still go. Even when you feel slow, you can still go. Even when there's no hope, you can still go. I never answered a no, man, I still go. Go, 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 go. I hustle out, hustle every single day I'll be making moves till I'm buried in my grave uh, To the system, I don't wanna be a slave I've been doing shit my What's going on everybody? I'm back with another video on the Corolla So, today I'm finally gonna be putting a a roof spoiler, whatever you wanna call it That goes on the rear window, windshield, whatever you wanna say So, and it just goes on with double sided tape Should be pretty simple And also too, I ordered a new clock spring so I'm gonna put that in. Hopefully that'll fix my horn problem because right now my horn doesn't work because I don't have the right clock spring in there to have cruise control and my horn at the same time. So let's hop into the video. Let's get this installed and then hop over and change the clock spring. So this is gonna be a pretty simple video. I mean, all we're gonna wanna do is just clean like, I don't know, three or four inches, wherever this is gonna go. Um, pretty good on the gonna sit pretty much like that and curve around so hopefully this will be good this looks like it's made out of the same material that your rain visors would be made out of so you don't have to paint it or anything it comes like like a, I don't want to say gloss black but like a transparent black so it should look good but yeah we're gonna clean that really good probably rub it down with some rubbing alcohol or isopropyl alcohol and then Get it lined up where we want to because I was kind of just looking at it um, and if you line it up it looks like it's gonna end where your roof ends before the the rain channel or whatever um, and you're probably gonna want to do that line it up like equally on both sides it doesn't run the whole winch the window um, it's a little bit smaller and I forgot to mention too I ordered this the rear roof Pfizer whatever you want to call it I ordered that from eBay so it was like $50 or something like that so I'll put a link to the description if you guys are interested in this like I said it's gonna probably change the look of the car like really nicely like from the side angle so I really like this I used to have one on my Camry but I guess I didn't prep it good enough and it actually flew off on me like while driving so that's something that I'm gonna make sure I do really good on here prep it really good and hopefully that tape will hold up. All right, so first thing I'm gonna do, I'm just gonna clean it really good. And I'd recommend trying to clean a little bit past where you're gonna to wanna to put it, just in case it touches it, you don't get it dirty. So I'm just gonna undo most of this so it doesn't get caught up in the tape. I'm gonna just take it all off. So I'm just gonna, I peeled off this whole one and I'm just gonna start this one. Alright, so I got the top piece down and the other side down um and it looks like after i pressed it i might not be completely even um it is like kind of overhanging the window a little bit here and it doesn't look like it matches the window you can see you can see some glass here and no glass here and then we'll go on the other side I kind of, yeah, you can see glass here and no glass here. 
it's not like it's like it it looks like it fits like it's supposed to but the way it kind of bends and contours with the roof it doesn't it's hard to get even because you kind of have to press it down and as you press it down it like flows more that way so kind of like i guess start where you think you're going to want to start which would have been right here and then just slowly push it over um and it probably will line up better than what i thought it was so i mean so far i mean just doing it now i mean it seems pretty good i mean so i mean i cleaned it really good i pressed down on all of the tape so i'm gonna wipe this down and then we'll see what it looks like you guys i think this looks really nice so Here's what it looks like from the side. Hopefully you guys can see it pretty good. Um, if It's not like too dramatic either. So I've seen some of these that like come out like really far and I'm not a big fan of them. This just looks very subtle. It kind of flows with the car. So, and yeah, I think it just looks really nice. So, I mean like for 50 bucks, I don't think that you could go wrong with it. I mean, even from the back, looks pretty aggressive, so. Yeah, I mean, I'm only, this one corner right here kind of didn't seem like it stuck well. The tape kind of underneath, like, folded up a little bit. You can kind of see it right here, but hopefully the rest is strong enough where, I mean, like I said, see, it wants to not want to stick good on this edge here, so. I don't know. Hopefully it'll stay. Like I said, I had one on there and it flew off like after four or five months of me having it on there. So I might have to put new tape on this side because even the tape that was on there, it wasn't even branded anything. So it's probably not even 3M tape, but let me see what I can do real quick. And something I'm noticing about this too is, I don't know if you guys can see it or not from this angle, but it like kind of like goes like this kind of dips down and then comes back up. I don't know why it's like that. I mean, it's like, I have it pressed down pretty good all the way over. I don't know if that's just like, when you press it down, it kind of just gets like a natural like bow inside of it. I mean, it doesn't look bad, but I can just kind of see it from afar that it like is higher up, kind of dips down and then comes back up. So if you're going to get this, that's probably what it'll look like when you do it on yours, too. Alright, so now I'm gonna... I'm gonna pop off my steering wheel so I can change out this clock spring real quick. Oh. Shouldn't be too bad, because I've already done this one time. And I also disconnected the um, battery, so that way I don't have any airbag problems. But no lights come on, so we should be disconnected. And we're gonna pop off the panel here. And I need to get a panel here, so, but we'll pop that off. And there should be, I think it's a Phillips screw, no, no, it's a Torx screw. I think it's a T25 or something like that. Let me find that real quick so I can take this off. Alright guys, so I just turned on the car, it's looking good, don't have an airbag light, um, my horn still doesn't work, I gotta change the fuse real quick, um, let's do that real quick, but, let me make sure cruise control works, yep, cruise control's popping up on here, um, and I'm curious real quick, if my steering wheel controls work or not, I don't think they will, but, I mean, we'll see. 
Yeah, I'm pressing the volume up and down buttons and it doesn't do anything. So yeah, still got to do some rewiring for the steering wheel switches, which I know some of you guys have already been asking me about. And this is the part I was waiting for to get. So that way now I can try to figure out how to wire up my my switches on the steering wheel to the radio. Let's see. Yeah, and today's a hot one too. I don't know if you can see it. It's 95 degrees here right now in Florida and it's super sunny. So it probably feels even hotter than that. So, all right, let's, I guess let's turn off the car, replace the horn fuse, which is pretty easy to do. I actually bought um, a big, a big pack of these. So, cause I've always just need random fuses. So I bought a nice assortment of the mini fuses and the bigger fuses. So I'm gonna replace that fuse real quick and then hopefully my horn will work now and then that'll fix everything on the steering wheel except for the controls. All right, so let's find this horn fuse. The reason why my horn doesn't work is because I actually took the fuse um, for my horn and I used it for my tail lights cause when I was wiring up my tail lights, I actually blew the fuse and I didn't have an extra one. So let's see. The horn, yeah, okay, here, 10 amp horn. So we got the 20, got the 10 that's missing, and then the 15, so hopefully my horn doesn't start going off. I'm gonna put this. Doesn't want to fit in right. Keeps trying to go in crooked. I don't know why. Alright, so it looks like I'm not gonna change this out today. I didn't realize that I bought mini fuses, which I thought these were, but these are the the blade fuses, so they're like even shorter and stubbier than what's what's here. Because if I pull out another fuse, I'll pull out this one. I'll show them pull. I'll pull out this one right here. This is for the cigarette lighter, I believe. Um, and see that one versus that. That's why they're not fitting in. They're like the same exact width, but they are way shorter. So, and that's why it's not fitting in correctly for me. So I'm gonna have to order some blade fuses and then I'll swap it out there. So Hopefully my horn will work. I might just take a 10 amp fuse real quick here and just put it over here. Um, just to make sure my horn is working properly. But yeah, there are much shorter fuses than what I have here. Well, horn's not going off, so let's press it real quick. Yeah, it's working. All right guys, so that's gonna be the end of this video. Thank you guys so much for watching. We got that roof spoiler put on and then we also swapped out the new clock spring so that way the horn and the, and the airbags and everything will work good on that so if you guys made it all the way to the end of this video give it a big thumbs up smash that like button subscribe to the channel and i'll see you guys next time and also just to give you guys a sneak peek i do want to hook me up with another radio so we'll be putting a brand new radio in this car to hopefully fix that steering wheel control so we can get the volume and everything on there so that's just another sneak peek to the one of my other videos coming up